Hey y'all, it's Danielle from Large Family Homestead. So we are getting ready to take our first beef cow to the butcher. And we're just curious how much he might weigh. So we're gonna try a simple way that we read online to measure him and weigh him without a scale. And then we'll compare it in a little bit when the butchers tell us how much he weighs and see how accurate it actually is. So we started off by haltering him. Brian has him there. And Brooke, do you wanna walk us through what you're gonna measure? Sure. So. First, we're gonna start with measuring right in front of his shoulder here. Uh huh. And then we're gonna measure all the way back to his back of his hip bone right here, right, right next to his tail. Okay. And then after that, we're going to run the string around him under here. And that will also be a second measurement. Okay, great. So let's uh, start that measurement. Here, Joshua, help me. I'll measure here first. So, from what it looks like on the graph, and I just measured. Oh. <laughs> I'm happy about this. We measured from here to here, which is. Okay. In inches. Yeah, in inches. Well, I don't know. I guess I should hold it more down like Yeah, probably. So that would be 62 inches, right? Okay, and then we take Wait, that. Hang on. I'm not holding this. So 62 inches is right here. And we'll times that by itself. Oh, I'm sorry. And then the round, oh no, does that only get done once? See, around the belly gets done twice, right? Around yep. the chest. Well, when we do the math to figure if out. If you hand me that, Brooke, I'll push it You'll out do to it the around. side here. Yep. Okay, so 62 we have. Just don't make any fast moves around them. Yep. Yeah, okay. so if your meat cow is, is not behaving well and is scared. You just want to be nice and love them. Yeah. Our right. cow is used to us, so yeah. it's a little different. Sort of used yeah. to us. A lot of times these, Not with this kind of stuff. these black Anguses, they're a little skittish. skittish. Yeah. Josh, can you move out they're of the... There the you cows go. are naturally skittish. So here, Brooke, just hand it to me up here. Here? And nope, she's it. coming under. Are you coming under? Yeah, you got it. Okay, yeah. Josh, you Which one her? do we do twice, though? Is it around this the... This one, we'll, we'll, we'll times them together. Go, okay. Go. We measure once times together. He's a good boy. You're doing good job. He is doing a good job. He's gonna get a treat. Is that right, Mom? Where it was? Yep, right where the right where it starts. Right behind his leg, right? Okay. Let go. All right. And what was? Oh, we don't know that yet. But we could come we out of there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but don't let him. Okay, so around his chest, measured seventy-four inches. So you're just gonna times that by itself. And then his length was 62 inches. So you're gonna times that by 62, divide that number by 300, and then you have your approximate weight. So ours was around 1,100 pounds. And obviously this is just an estimate, it's not exact. And so when we took him to the butcher, his hanging weight was around 600 pounds. So that would mean that his living weight, which was what we got, would be around would be in between 1,000 and 1,100 pounds. So our estimate of measuring him was pretty close. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you guys enjoy videos about animal care, gardening, and cooking, make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications. And if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment and ask. Thanks for joining us today.